This is an unboxing video for the Devil's Barrage by Firework King. It's a uh, 10 cake barrage box of Category 2 fireworks. So these should be suitable for pretty much any garden as long as you've got 8 metres of safety distance. Uh, first thing to point out is ignore that price there. That's nothing uh, nothing like what you should be paying. You should be paying less than 100 quid easily. I paid £70 or thereabouts for this uh, box. And that's probably what you should be aiming for. Uh, but for £70, if I open this up and show you the side, uh, you get a whopping 2.19 kilograms of powder, which I think is fantastic for the price. Um, so Firework King is a brand. I don't know much about I've never fired any of their stuff before. But um, the China videos look excellent. So there aren't many UK videos except the bigger compound fireworks, which do look quite impressive, actually, for the money. So I thought I would check these out. And these are going to be fired for my uh, birthday at the end of February this year. So I will post the videos... Hopefully end of Feb, early March. Um, and I'll fire them all, one after the other. Uh, so this is like a birthday present to me. Uh, so, let's have a little look. These are all 1.4G, they're not 1.3G, so the effects aren't going to be as fantastic as 1.3G. But they still look decent on the videos there. So, this 19 shot cake, Lucifer's Revenge. Uh, and the effect is a... Wave, crackling, green wave, white strobe, uh, purple star crackling. So some nice colours there and varied effects. So not bad for a 19 shotter. Some nice artwork there. Uh, let's have a look what's next. 24 shot 666. And this one is a red star, white strobe, red tail, purple cocoa. With crackling red tails, yellow stars, green strobe, red tails, uh, a white strobe with crackling red tails. So again, some nice uh, variation in colours. Don't often see uh, yellows. Yellows and purples together are quite nice in fireworks, I think. So high hopes then for that one. Uh, bore size is approximately 15, 20 mil there, I would say. So it's going to be fairly punchy. Uh, next up we've got the beast 20 shot cake and what does it say here um, red cocoa white strobe with green tail purple cocoa time rain with green tail lemon green strobe with green tail with crackling green tails to finish so fairly similar to the last one in terms of colours and we've all got it bit of crackling as well. NEC 157 grams. So not massive, but they've got a fair bit of weight to them. These aren't going to blow over easily, so I don't know if it has a berry line on there. So um, yeah, we'll look forward to firing these. Another 19 shotter here, Satanic Laughter. Let's have a look. 149 grams NEC, so Green strobe, red tail, green cocoa, red tail, crackling, white strobes with red tail, purple and green stars together, okay, with a red tail. So that's satanic laughter. Next up we've got Satan's Fury. And 157 grams, so purple and green peonies. Uh, with a red tail to green cocoa, white strobe with red tails, brocade crowns with green tails, red cocoa crackling with a green tail. So again, a bit of crackling there. So we've got Devil's Blitz, 25 shots, 196.5 grams of NEC, so a decent amount really. And that's red cocoa crackling, green tail, green cocoa crackling with green tail, purple cocoa crackling with green tail. So again, some crackle. Which I suppose if you're having a small display in your back garden, it's 
It's all right. You don't want them to be too samey though. So this is Dark Lord, 25 shots, 196 and a half grams of uh, powder. So red start with white strobe, red tail to green start with gold strobe, red tail to yellow start with green strobe, and then red tails. Right, so again, mixed up a slightly. I didn't see, did I see crackling in there. I don't think I did. Nice. So one without crackles there, Dark Lord. Then we've actually got a fan cake in here, which is great. I love Capgri 2 fan cakes. There aren't enough on the market, I don't think. Um, so obviously make sure you've got the room to fire through. You can see the angles there on the tubes at the sides. It's not too much of an angle, to be honest. You might be able to get away with that in most gardens, as long as you're not encroaching on other people's <laughs> gardens. You might take offence to that but if you've got the room 209 grams of NEC there so it's red comets with white strobe mines green comets white strobe mine yellow comet white strobe mine purple comet white strobe mine red green and blue crackling so I think they're all like tails sort of um, a bit like Shanghai candles I would imagine um, so they should be quite nice actually. So no breaks, I don't think, in that one. Um, but some nice effects nonetheless. That will certainly break up from the breaks in the rest of the uh, pieces. So what should we go with next? We'll go with Hell's Bells. And that says, does that say ACDC on there? Ooh. Might be a copyright infringement there somewhere. Um, so Hell's Bells, 50 shots. This has got some weight to it. Let's have a look at the NEC on this. 373 grams, so nice. Red star, white strobes, red tail, brocade crowns, green tail, red strobes and white strobes with red tails, green strobes and gold strobes with green tail chrysanthemums and blue tails. So yeah, not many blues in, in here. Obviously blue is the most difficult and expensive effect to uh, produce. So... But it's nice to see some other colours in here, to be honest. So what's this one, sorry? R.I.P. This one is a 36 shot. Uh, and we've got 415 grams NEC, which is nice. So red cocoa to blue star with red tail. Time rain to blue star with silver fish. Nice, silver fish. Brocade crown to red strobe with red tail. Brocade crown to white strobe with red tail. And brocade crown to crackling with red tail. So, tempted to put that one last in the series. Save the biggest till the end there. Um, it's got some nice varied effects in it. Uh, which is good to see. So they're not all breaks. We've got some with some flying, uh, silver flying fish there. And we've got obviously the, uh, the comet tails in the fan cake. And then the rest are just... Mostly standard breaks, mostly with crackling. Um, but it's a decent selection, that. And for uh, around the 70 quid mark, you can't really um, complain. I think it's going to be quite a decent box. And um, obviously, I will put the videos up for you all to decide for yourselves whether it's a decent box or not. It seems like barrage boxes are the uh, flavour of the month at the moment. Pretty much every brand seems to be bringing out uh, a barrage cake box. Which, to be honest, if you know if it's category two um, and you want a decent garden display and it's under under a hundred quid, um, you won't find any things like this at supermarkets. And these will beat the backside off flipping any supermarket stuff. They will absolutely outclass them in every respect. So, if you can hunt them down, go to proper retailers. Don't go to supermarkets for your fireworks because you'll just get fleeced and you'll end up with rubbish. Um, even though these are 1.4G, I've got high hopes and I think they'll be quite spectacular. So um, we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, if you can shop around, those in the know, find your local retailer that's an all-year-round retailer um, and hunt down a nice barrage box if you can, rather than going to supermarkets. Um, that's my advice anyway, for what it's worth. So um, obviously, stand by for the firing video and thanks for watching.